President Mr. Frank McCarthy and his wife from the Midcock Board and Mr. Paddy O'Many and his wife, the Secretary of the Midcock Board. Members of the Hina Club, ladies and gentlemen, you are all indeed very welcome here tonight. Tonight is a historic occasion for the Clonderhead Club. And it, it's not easy to win a Midcock trophy, but we have it here tonight with us in case you don't know what it looks like. The, amo the amount of effort that's put in to winning that cup, let me tell you, it's not easy. And we have selectors, we have mentors, we have supporters, and everything like And we need all those, and without, without everyone like that, we wouldn't win this. So there's a lot of um, speeches, presentations to be made here tonight, and I think now we'll call on Father O'Flynn to say a few words. <laughs> so, sorry, Father Lane. Well, anyhow, <laughs> anyhow, uh, it just recalls one thing they told us a minute. Um, there must be at least three mistakes in any liturgy for it to be a good liturgy. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> anyhow, so I would like to congratulate the junior team. It was job well done. So we're all very proud of you. It was a great honour for our parish, all your hard work. Uh, it is often said, what you put into life is what you get out of life. And you certainly put a lot into your training, and you did very well. So congratulations to you all. So after that, I suppose, really, all I would like to do is to um, thank everybody who helped you in any way, and to thank all your followers and your supporters. And after that, I'll just wish you a pleasant evening, so thank you. Thank you, Father Lean. Um, this trophy was not the only trophy we won this year. We also won an under-15 football and an under-14 um, hurling competition. And uh, it's the young people in the parish and in the club that keeps the club going. And I'm sure the next man that I'm asking to speak would have known most of the players at some stage or other while he was in Clonderhood. And we are really delighted to have him here back with us again tonight. And that man is Father Finn. Mr. Chairman, Reverend Father, <coughs> ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> until Derry met Murray, I always felt he was a mixed up kid. <laughs> <coughs> and mind you, the proof of it in, in, in what he said tonight, first time. He called me out of name, he, he put an O before my name. And it um, is only plain Father Finn. And uh, if you're writing to me, don't put PP anymore because I'm PE now. And don't get mixed up with all these letters. <laughs> it's a bad thing. No, I'm only joking. Uh, I'm very, very happy to be here tonight, naturally. I got the invitation today at two minutes to 12. And by God, I dropped everything in order to be here with the people of Clondroid. Um, I, I, I followed them a lot you know, when I was in Clondrohead, and I was very keen that they'd succeed somewhere. But unfortunately, they didn't succeed for a long time. But with the expert tuition and direction and coaching of one Shea Fahey, I think that was the uh, source in which uh, the team came out on top. Uh, I was thrilled, really. <laughs> Uh, 
That's only on passing because uh, men, people will mention Shea again later on. Shea doesn't know it, of course, but I have a, <coughs> a grand nephew playing with him, Liam Honahan. <laughs> and um, uh, he's a big fella like Shea. And, um, but really, I suppose I could take a small bit of credit for the, having the team uh, reaching such a high standard because we have a field in Clondrohid now and there was no field until I gave six acres to the people of the parish and they made a marriage. There's one big regret I have. Why didn't they take an aerial view of the place that is now the pitch? Because it was only mountain, rock, bog and furs, really, and it's a pity we didn't get a photograph of it from the air, and you'd realise then the wonderful job the committee uh, and the parish uh, did in that field. It is a credit to the whole of you. <coughs> <coughs> well, I was waiting for a long time, and, you know, you could be county champions No, really, with a small bit of luck, you could have been county champions. I was very disappointed that day uh, because you could have uh, beaten that team out there in Glenville. Paul Glenville. Uh. <laughs> However, you played, really, the standard was tremendous. Um, it, when I was with you nine or ten years ago, you, you had a fairly good standard, fit for just junior football uh, at a low pace. But my goodness, the speed and the expertise and the skill and the fitness of the team was something that I was amazed at, really. And if you keep that up, you're certainly going to go places. We'll be cheering you here this time next year with the Junior County Cup. And the following year then, <coughs> Well, we'll give it a skip that year. The year after that, then we'll, we'll, we'll win the intermediate. And we won't go any further. I'll be dead by the time you win the scene, I suppose. <laughs> However, I'll, um, I'll say congratulations to each and every one of you. And I thank you very sincerely for the invitation to this function tonight. It's only starting, of course. We'll have a big night yet. And um, I'm sure uh, it all depends and um, I, I wish you every success uh, and uh, the committee, their marvellous crowd, and uh, every success to you uh, in your future efforts to win championships. There were an awful lot of young lads there. <coughs> they were little altar boys in my time. And my goodness, they're, they're certainly more than altar boys now. I, I, I'm sure they're still going to mass and all that, but... <coughs> but uh, I, I know quite, they were all lovely little lads in my time and uh, I've, I've seen some of them there playing and it's amazing the standard they have reached uh, thanks to your dedication to the game. Congratulations once more. God bless you all. <coughs> Thank you very much, Father. Next to say a few words is the Chairman of the Midcock Board, Frank McCarthy. And um, Frank has put up a lot with us. We'd have arguments and fights and, you know, if we'd be trying to put off games, he'd want them played and we'd want them played and he'd want them off. So, now I'll hand you over to Frank. Um, Mr. Chairman, Reverend Fathers, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen, first of all, on behalf of Pat O'Mani and our wives, I want to say how delighted we are to be here tonight at this historic function. As your chairman quite rightly said, tonight is a special night, a night that never before came for the people and for the club Clondrahud. Uh, a club formed in the 30s, who played originally, I believe, sometimes in uh, Duhalu Division, sometimes in Muscry, then was reformed and re-entered Midcork in 63. I know in my heart that there are people here tonight who gave great service to Clondrahud over the years, both on the playing field and at officer level, and I'm sure many of those people wondered if the day would ever come when Clondrahud would win what was certainly an elusive mid title. I know also that that day in McCroom, when you won the final, that people will say it was worth waiting for, because you proved worthy champions, and every club and every gale in the division, I can heartily say, was delighted for you. 
because very often in the past you went very close to winning and were filed. So it's only right, being first time winners, that we would be delighted for you. And again on tonight, I want to extend to the club and to the team the best wishes of all the clubs throughout this division and your historic success. I want to say to the team that not alone in the Midcourt Championship, but in the County Championship, you proved that it was no flash in the pan. And I certainly agree with Father, Father Finn that you have great potential and you have now the, the capacity, in my opinion, to go on from this year's breakthrough. You proved it uh, by being defeated by the eventual uh, winners, Linville, that you have the capacity to go on, retain the title and go on next year for to capture a county title. Having, having complimented the team, I also want to mention the selectors because, of course, selectors have a, a difficult job. I want to say to all of them, well done. And it's only fair that I should also mention Shea Fahey. It, I think it's commendable to see someone like Shea Fahey, who is a model sportsman and a model person on and off the field, coming out to a club like Clondrod and helping them, helping them to improve. And I think that his presence with you in the championship certainly was one of the reasons, along with the wonderful team you had, that you won the title. I, I want particularly to compliment your officers, the officers of your club, the present officers, Derry and Helen, and all the other people who, who have guided the club. This is a wonderful achievement for them also, and they must be delighted that while they held office that this title was won. We shouldn't forget either, I'm sure, the, the people who held office over the years and who kept the club going in times that weren't maybe as, as encouraging as 1995 was. It's, it's very easy, I suppose, to keep a club going when you're winning and when you're, you're going well. It's not that easy to get people to take responsibility when you're going through a bad period. And I want tonight, along with the present officers, to compliment the people who guided the club over the years and kept it going when perhaps other people would have said, uh, were, were we ever going to win the title? Were we ever going to make the breakthrough? It would be wrong of me if I didn't also say that I'm sure you're disappointed that there, are, there isn't more silver on the table tonight, apart from the juvenile competitions that you have won, that there isn't more uh, from the adult side of things. We are all aware that you're involved in two other competitions, the Under-21 and the Journal Football League. Those matters have to be resolved, and there's a meeting tomorrow, tomorrow two weeks, the first meeting of the board, and I can assure the club that at that meeting, those, the matters concerning those games will be attended to. I want to uh, mention very briefly uh, Muscray. Muscray uh, is a, 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 a division with a great football, football tradition, a great commitment to football right through the, right through the, the entire division, stretching from the, the city boundary to the county bounds. And we were disappointed that the great effort that was made by the Muscari team in '95 didn't result in we winning uh, a county title. We felt, perhaps especially having defeated two of the very big teams in that competition, um, Nemo, and O'Donovan Rasa, that perhaps this was going to be our year, but we were, we were again filed uh, in the final by Bantry. I want to thank tonight the Chandra Hut Club for the help that they have given Muscray in terms of the wonderful facilities which Father Finn mentioned that you have, marvellous field and dressing rooms which were used by the Muscray Club or the division for training. I want to particularly thank the club for the players that they have given to Muscari over the years. And I mentioned first Noel McDonough, who has been uh, a valuable member of the panel in recent years. But there's one person in particular that I want to mention tonight because it's what would be expected of me as chairman of the board. And that is to mention in particular the wonderful service that Kieran Creed has given to Muscari. I, I think it can be best said that Kieran Creed epitomizes really what this association is all about. We can all be uh, in, in Thurles or in Limerick or in Killarney in July or in Croke Park in September, but at the end of the day, this association really vibrates and moves around the club. And if you have clubs in villages and in parishes and in towns, 
the association just does not function. And Kieran, by his, his leadership and his loyalty, first of all to his club, secondly to his division, and thirdly to his county, is a model for any footballer and anyone aspiring to play our games. And I say sincerely tonight that many people around this division, when, when Clondrahad won that mid-card title, they were delighted for Clondrahad, but they were especially delighted for Kieran Creed. Be, be, before, I, before I conclude, I want to mention just two other areas, if I, if I can please. I want to thank the Clondrahad Club for the help they give the board in the organising of the summer camps, which are very much a part of our uh, summer activities for young, young boys and girls, learning the skills of our games. And Clondrahad is one of the centres where those summer camps are held. And I want to pay tribute to Paddy Cockery, who is one of our key people uh, in organising the summer camp. <laughs> and I'll also have to mention his wife, Magella, and the ladies' committee in Clondrahud for the wonderful way they look after the catering and the cooking for the coaches and for the um, young students or young players who attend the summer camps. Finally, uh, Derry, in introducing me, said that sometimes you have problems with the board and more times you don't. I'd have to say this much quite fairly and quite honestly. I'd say it in Derry's presence and in his absence. Clown Drud had a very reasonable job to, 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 to deal with. Uh, we as a board have a job to do. Everyone knows that. Uh, the main function of a board is to organise the competitions and more than anything else, to be fair to everyone. And I think if you are fair to people, if you do your best to help people and facilitate them, but at the end of the day, every, treat everyone the same, I think that's what's important. I want tonight to thank the delegates that normally come from Clondrahud to our board meetings, Derry, uh, John Kelleher, Eddie, Eddie Welch, and um, Tim Crowley. And to thank them for, for the help they give and the cooperation that they give to the board. I, I haven't anything else to say. Again, uh, delighted that the Rooney and myself are to be invited here tonight and our wives. We, we are thrilled for Clondrahad. We hope that it won't be as long again before you win titles. I'm sure it won't. I want to wish the club and all the players in the club well in the future. Thank you very much, Frank, and I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank Perry Manny as well for his cooperation during the years, and we're looking forward to another year of discussion <laughs> in the future. Um, before, I move, before I move on to one of the younger members of the panel to speak, I'd just like to say a few words. Our president, Michael Keller, is here with us tonight, and he is not saying any few words, but that man has kept the club together down through the years, and when in thick and thin, and up to this day, he's a great supporter of it, and we are very deeply indebted to him. <laughs> Our next man is a Barden winner. It's been a really great year for me you now. He captained the football team. He went to no holidays. He spared up a bit of money. He went to Cork one day, and he got engaged. Um, there's another member of the family too that's got engaged, which I'll be mentioning later, I think. I must check it out first. <laughs> um, so, it's really a great year for him, like the captain, um, a clown for her team to win a first mid cork is really something. So, I know I'll call in Michael Healy to say a few words. Reverend Fathers, uh, Cahirlock, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, um, it's a great honour for me to be here tonight as captain of the Clondrahad team, um, the first team in Clondrahad to win the Mid Cork Championship. Uh, it took it took a while to sink in actually, but um, I think now we all realise the, the feat that we have achieved, and I don't think we'll forget it too easy. There are a few people I'll, I'll have to thank here tonight. Uh, firstly, I'd like to thank the selectors 
uh, for nominating me as captain this year, and it's I, I definitely will not forget this occasion anyway. Um, the selectors they put in so much work into this uh, campaign this year, uh, uh, long hours of making phone calls and organising matches and so on, and I think there is great credit due to them, especially this year. And also, selectors down through the years, we can't forget them, and also ex-players. And uh, I think it makes it even better that, that we can repay all those people by having this trophy here tonight. And on behalf of the team, I'd just like to say that we are delighted that we eventually did pull it off. And hopefully, our ambition is that next year we can bring this trophy back here. And please God, with a bit of luck, we might even go a bit further and have the county championship alongside us. Thank you very much. Thanks, Michael. <coughs> I think the next man need no introduction whatsoever. He's winner of two all Ireland medals, All-Star Awards, County Championship, Man of the Match, you name it. He's been there, he's got it. And he's a, a gentleman on the field, off the field. He just tells fellas what he expects of them. I never heard him raising his voice to any player or anybody else, selector, anybody in the club or anything. He's a pure gentleman and he showed, he showed it by the way he reacted when we won the um, Midcock Trophy. When it was being presented, he was over in the corner talking to some fella away from the hostel and bustle, minding his own business. He had his job done. And I'd like to thank him for that and ask him to say a few words. Shea Fahey. Uh, Reverend Fathers, <coughs> Chairman, looking after me all here, uh, Frank and Pat, uh, friends from Clondrohood. First of all, I suppose I'd like to uh, thank the people of Clondrohood for inviting myself and my wife Jackie here tonight to be part of the celebrations, which was a great year for the club. And I suppose this is my only opportunity really to thank a lot of people throughout the year because when we were beaten that day by Glenville, everyone was a bit down in the restroom and... Uh, we didn't have a chance to say too much afterwards, so if you excuse me, I just want to thank a few people here tonight for the year that we've had. The first people I'd like to stand with, start with is the people yourselves from Clondrood. Um For me, as an outsider coming in, it's very difficult at times, but uh, I must say I was really made, uh, felt very welcome there, and people really looked after me, brought me here, brought me there, told me what was happening, what was going on, who was here, who was there. And to the people of Clondrood, thank you very much for that. I think uh, when you talk about uh, people and places, the one memory for this year that would stick in my, in my mind anyway is the night after we won the Mid-Cork. Uh, to see the crack in the, uh, in the pubs afterwards, been up on top of the truck, um, you know, it was fantastic. And a credit to everyone that was there. I think everyone had a great night. We got home eventually, and <laughs> it was a long road home, by the way, but thanks very much to everyone. I enjoyed it anyway. Um, if I could move on from there, I suppose the next people I would have to thank are the committee. Um, a lot of people wouldn't realise the work that goes in, in committee level anyway, uh, in organising um, pitches, dress rooms, teams, meals, etc. And I have been involved with a few teams myself, and I must say this team was very, very well looked after throughout the whole year, and I think it's a credit to the committee to the work that they put in throughout the year. Thank you very much. If I could move on, uh, I suppose the next people I'd like to talk about are the three amigos here down here on my right, Eddie, Peter and John. Uh, they were a pleasure to work with during the year uh, as selectors for a number of reasons, uh, particularly when we used to go training because every night it was the same story. Uh, Peter and I would stroll out onto the field, Peter would be having a cigarette and we'd be chatting away and he'd go down and lean against the post. Meanwhile, we'd start training, and John and Eddie would join in, full of the life. And after about two laps, they'd realise they weren't 21 anymore. <laughs> and there there would be the three of them leaning against the four all together.
But for me, uh, talking about them seriously, I suppose, they're a pleasure to work with because, um, you know, they're three easy-going guys, but they're very straight and very honest. And anyone who knows them knows them for that, I'd say. They speak their minds, whatever they think, they'll say it. And during a few selection meetings, we had a few arguments here and there, I suppose, or discussions, strong discussions. But, I mean, that was the end of it. Once we left that meeting, or whatever the case may be, everyone forgot about it. We had a vote. Somebody was picked, somebody wasn't. Somebody didn't get their player. didn't make any difference. That was the end of it, and we carried on the next day. And I think that really shows the tremendous character of the three of them, that they were straight all the way, all times, and I found them tremendous to work with. Thanks very much, lads. Uh, tied in with the selectors, I suppose, last but not least, probably the most important people here tonight are the team uh, and the full panel. Uh, it was tremendous for me to tra train a team like this because every night I went training, there was 22 or 23 guys there every night. I mean, the amount of training sessions people missed was very, very few. And it was tremendous commitment of the players. Like, I know Pat Connors threw up a holiday to go to the States and... People threw up holidays to go here and they were supposed to go away for weekends there, etc., etc. And I think it's, it's indicative of, of why they won the, ju the Junior Championship in Mid Cork this year, was the commitment of each and every player on the panel, whether there were 1 or 25. Thanks very much, lads. Um, of course, a few things have changed since w we were beaten... Um, uh, I suppose I see Donald Corkery there, he's a bit of an old schmigine, I think he thinks he's... I think he thinks he's Roy Keane at the moment, I'm not too sure. And probably the most pleasing aspect of tonight for me was to see Dan Creedon here so early. Normally when the three amigos would be leaning against the post, and we'd have the two laps done. Dan had come driving in at about 50 miles an hour, <laughs> mad for training. <laughs> it was a pleasure to see him here before me tonight. Um, to finish up, I'd just like to say, you know, nights like this, it's a night of celebration. And it's been a tremendous year for Clondred as a club. Uh, for us as uh, coaches and selectors, we took a chance in the championship earlier on, particularly in the first two rounds, and that we didn't push it too hard. But after that, I think for the semi-final, the final, and the two games at Nemo and Lenville, we pushed it very, very hard. And I think particularly the four performances in the semi-final, the final, and the two games at Nemo were, I mean, there was absolutely some tremendous football played in that by the, the players on the panel. And I think uh, that's what it's all about at the end of the day, is playing a bit of football, enjoying it, and more importantly, I suppose, at the end of the day, the most important thing is winning. And it was a great, day for the, great year for the club. And tonight is about celebrating. And I've been at a lot of dinner dances, etc. And it ends up kind of with the lads at the bar. Well, you should have done this, and you should have done that, and he should have been playing, and etc., etc. And he should have scored that goal. But really, we don't really want any of that tonight. We want everyone to get out here, enjoy yourself, have a bit of crack, and that's what it's all about. Thanks very much. Well, my job in the Indian night will be very easy anyway. I won't have to thank anyone at all, because they're all thanked already. Uh, next, we come on to a few presentations. And the first presentations are to the three selectors. And I will call on the team captain to make presentations to the selectors. And I call on the secretary to make a presentation to their wives. First, we'll have the king himself, the richest one of them, John Kelleher. <laughs> He, to he told me he stuck another gold a good deal yesterday. <laughs> Tis a pity about his horse. <laughs> and his wife, Kate. <laughs> no, no, you'll have to come up, Kate. Just, can I move out the way there? Next, we have Peter and Kathleen. Take it easy. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll just have to slow things down a small bit now to get photographs. <laughs> Thanks very much, Peter and Kathleen. Next, we have Eddie and Ursula. Thanks very much, Eddie, and Ursula as well, for putting up with him and leaving him off and doing without him. Um, now, uh, we have uh, the presentation of uh, the present, uh, presenting the medals now next, and we'll call on Shea Fahey, seeing that he did so much with the team to present the medals to the players. So if you all the play I'll call out the names, and if we all the players come up this side and go down the other way, we'll try and get photographs. And I'll be calling them out in alphabetical order. We'll start with the team captain, Michael Healy. Get the mid. Hold on, get the mid. Get the back there. Huh? Team captain. Next, we have Oliver Buckley. Uh, <laughs> well done, Oliver. Next, we have Pascal, his brother. Our centre back, Pascal Buckley. Next would be Thomas Butler, but he was unable to make it. Next we have Barry Cockrey. <laughs> Barry Cockrey. <laughs> if all the players will stay here, we'll get a photograph of them together. The whole panel. Well done, Barry. Next we have Roy Keane or Dolan Cockrey. Next, we have that big centre field, Martin. Well done, Martin. Next, we have his brother, Thomas. The three Cockery brothers. Next is the man you've heard about before tonight, the Iron Man himself, Kieran Creed. Yeah. Well done, Kieran. Next, we have that man, and he's early tonight, Dan Creeden. Next, Dinny Dineen, with his tie straightened up. Next, we have Aidan Kelleher. From the Hillside Farm. And next, we have that man that don't do much, Declan Kelleher. Well done, Dickie. And next, we have a man whom really must, his heart must be breaking this year, for he got injured in our first championship game and was out of the, out of the team for the rest of the year. That man is Gerard Kaler. Well done, Gerard, and hopefully you'll be back fairly soon. Thanks, Gerard. Next, we have John Keller, that corner back. <laughs> Next, we have that strong man, Mick Keller. Well done, Mick. It's a good year for Mick, too. He's getting married this year.
Next is John Manning, who is not here with us, but his brother Martin is. Come on, Martin. Another man who spent a few bob. He made good money in, in, in uh, nutrition this year. <laughs> Next we have Noel McDonough. <laughs> well done, Noel boy. Next, that flying fast sub, Jim Murray. Next, we have Aidan O'Brien. <laughs> or as he likes to be called, Memmie's boy. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we have his brother, Darren. And next we have Daddy's by Gary. <laughs> and next we have the man that could not go on holidays, Pat O'Connor. And the man who filled the full back spot so well, Tim O'Connor. And next we have our full forward, Fintan O'Leary. Well done, Fintan. And the man that's nearly last tonight, and all year he was number one, John O'Manny. <laughs> and last, but by no means le least, Michael Welsh. Well done, Mikey. Thanks very much, Shea. No, we must get organised again. There are just a couple of more um, presentations to be made. Um, oh, yes. Right. Now I call on our president, Michael Kelleher, to uh, present Shea Fahey. And could we have his wife, Jackie, up here now too, please? Thanks very much, Shea. I know we'll have the secretary, Helen O'Brien, to present the flowers to Shea's wife, Jackie. You have number 75. Can we come up again? Boy, when we used to be having socials and things like that, and things like that um, we had the player of the year. Now, the player of the year is, um, how it has come about is um, each selector has a vote on any, or any player from minor onwards, you know? So there's about 12, 12, or, 12 or 15 um, votes. And it was myself who char took charge of um, collecting the votes. And I will tell you, it was very, very close. It came down to the last vote. So I, it was great pleasure 
to announce the Player of the Year for this year, and that man is Pascal Buckley. And the tray is sponsored by the Millcock Panels, and this is sponsored by uh, the Old Triangle. John, John Kelleher says so. Well done, Pascal. Thanks very much, Michael. Well done, Pascal. Now, we had a draw in progress there over the last month, uh, which will take place later on. About half twelve, one o'clock, we'll draw the things because we haven't done the tickets in. We'll collect all the tickets over there in a minute. So anybody with tickets remaining, please come over there after a while and we'll collect them all from you. No, there isn't much more business for me to do, and I, and I know you don't want to listen to me for very long, but there are a number of people I'd like to thank. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the management and staff of the hotel, which gave us a beautiful meal. And I think we had some extra numbers, so I'd like to thank them for fitting them in. Secondly, I'd like to thank the band, who I know will provide some very lively music, Jerry McCarthy and Willie Burke and Liam Healy has assured me of it. <laughs> I, uh, I'd like to thank the selectors, mentors, players, club officers, club members, supporters, sponsors, those who, sp uh, those who support club functions, support club draws, any fundraising thing without your support we could not continue. Those who wash jerseys, transport players, cut grass in the field, and who helped in any way, or in any small way, down through the years, not alone this year, but back many years, when we were little toddlers, people take us to school, or take us to school, yeah, but to take us to uh, training, and being collected and things. I remember it well, being collect, <laughs> going to school then. <laughs> uh, people collect us, take us to matches, and things like that. And some of them are no longer with us. Some of them couldn't be here tonight. And I would just like to spare a thought for those people who kept it going when we weren't here and when, when things were not going so well. So I'd, I'd also like to, pay, um, to spare a thought for those members who are ill and cannot be with us here tonight. Um, and I wish them a speedy recovery. Right, I think there's only one small presentation to be made, uh, and it's very hard to get club officers, but it's very, very hard to get good ones, and we are very fortunate over the last couple of years. We were in need of a secretary, Connie Healy was after doing secretary for about 10 years, I think, and there was no one to do the job, so we finally convinced Helen to be secretary, and with the last couple of years, she's done a t tremendous job. Uh, she's the only lady in the, in the officers of the club, and like it's not an easy thing for a lady to come in between the whole lot of us, John and myself, no like. Um, and we are really grateful to her for it, and I think uh, she really deserves great credit. Her whole family are involved, and um, I'd like to pay this tribute to Helen. And another thing, I think someone told me, I think it was Dawn, that um, it was her birthday today, and she'd like a bunch of flowers. <laughs> I can sing, but I think the team captain can sing, so I should sing happy birthday to her. I'll start it if we finish it. <laughs> right, I'll give you the first line, and if you don't join in yourselves after that, we'll have to forget about it. <laughs> happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. 
Happy birthday, dear Helen. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Helen. No, I told you Michael Healy could sing. Um, there are a couple of people here tonight, or not here tonight, who were unable to be here and who have done tremendous work during the year in winning these underage trophies. One is Paddy Cockery and his wife Magilla, and Johnny and Breda Kelleher. And I would like to thank them very sincerely for the work they have put in all during the year, and not only this year, but um, in other years they were involved in junior teams which were not successful. And um, I would like to pay a tribute to the, both of those in their absence. No, I don't think there's anybody else left to thank. If I left out anyone, it, was not, it wasn't intentional. And I, um, I hopefully have covered everyone. And all I wish to know is wishing everyone a very happy new year and enjoy the rest of the night. And thank you very much, team, mentors, everyone, uh, everyone involved in the club, or even supporters, anyone who helped in any way. Thanks very much again. Enjoy the night. Now we will call on Father Lean to say grace. Thanks. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the food we've eaten today. We thank you for our conversation and we thank you for our enjoyment. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
I serve me time and I'll come Some call me an old agitator I'll know I'm resolved to repent I'm a pain twink, I'm a ling twink, I'm an idol Pain twink, I'm a ling twink, I'm an idol But the rubble, the rubble, for a deed And my love so keeps spinning away Rocky long years we have trouble. I'll buy the contents of the pot for me hammers, the arms of the pensioners, and I carry them all on my back. Oh, I'll make drink of an ink drink of an idol. The ink drink of an ink drink of an idol. But we don't go for a little more of these. And we love so keep was hung for sheep's And my mother, she was bright as a witch. And my sister, she's a dandy housekeeper. And she ride a mechanic at the switch. Oh, it's me, twink, I'm an ink, twink, I'm an idol. Me, twink, I'm an ink, twink, I'm an idol. But me, I'm old, or I'm old, or I'm old, or I'm old, or I'm old. Tell me why she is hungry, she's lonely. Tell me why she's the devil, she's black. No matter what I may do with her, to her tongue we go in the chat. But she's a fairly one, fine, so where's mommy? A little before it was taken, I took her three times to the river. And I carelessly bade her, good day, sing it folks. But with me, twink, I'll be twink, I'll be my door, give it a lash. The ink twink, the ink twink, I'm an idol But we're the whole world, we're all poor and deep And we're all so keep spinning away
sing it. Do it, folks. Sing it, Blake. Oh, okay. 